theme music. Welcome back everybody to Two Guys, Three Crowns, the podcast about what it's really like to live in Stockholm, Sweden. Join me, Sean, and my fellow American Rodney as we explore the good, the bad, and the just plain weird. We don't talk about brew, no, 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 no. We don't talk about brew, no. I don't even know if you know what that song is, but it's been implanted into my brain. I can't think of anything else. I'm back in Sweden, back from sunny South Florida, and all I can think of is the entire soundtrack from Encanto. Who was Bruno? Who was Encanto? Oh, is that the the (laughs) new? Is that the new Disney? That's the new Disney movie Uh, that has apparently the soundtrack. Okay. upended Adele from sitting in the number one spot on billboard for the past six weeks. Okay. Is it a, is it, is it good? I, Cause I know that I've it's seen good. It. Okay. Okay. It's more musical than like a movie, like a mm. movie movie, like um, all the Disney movies, they have songs, right? But then right. this one's like every, anytime there's like an advancement in the plot, there's yeah. a song to go along with it. Okay. But yeah, it's um, with the little one. I've right. watched it. I don't know, at least seven times already. Okay. You know, when I experienced that, well, I mean, it's been popping up because um, we have Disney, the Disney channel. So it's oh, been yeah. popping. Yeah, it's been popping up left and right. But this year, have you guys watched every year in Sweden for Christmas? They play Disney. There's like a Disney old classic Disney clips, Okay, um, a collection. And there are a couple of one. Well, there's like a standard. It's like the exact same cartoons every year. This year, it's like TBS playing a Christmas story for 24 hours straight. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's called Donald Duck's Christmas, Kalianka's Yul, and <clears throat> what it wow, what it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hey, they stuck in a clip of that in Kanto. Okay, yeah, uh, and we didn't really know what it was at first, and it's in Swedish. I believe oh, no. that they Come were on, man. Singing... There's no way you're translating that correctly. From... Well, I'm I'm pretty sure. I'll have to go back and check, but I'm pretty to sure. To go from they were... Colombian Spanish to Swedish. To, to I, Swedish. Mm. It was. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. it. Um... <laughs> so I, given that, I wasn't really sure how much I liked the movie preview or not. I was looking at it going, ah. Uh... But I, it's I think good. if you have a couple hours, you and Lena, it's, it's a good popcorn movie for you guys. It's cute. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put that up on the list. I'll tell you what, it's going to be better than the Eternals. Ooh. I just watched it last night. Did you like it though? So I had like, I'm a bit of a Marvel comics. I got that kind of nerdiness yeah. flowing through me. So yeah. I already know all the stories. Right. And the whole thing leading up to this movie, I'm like, this is so I understand from the broader picture that they need to get these characters introduced at some point. Sure. But the way they've written the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like Thor in the comic books is way stronger than Thor and, and Hulk in okay. the movies. Okay. So then we're talking on like power scales of like cosmic levels. And I'm like, the casual Marvel people aren't going to understand what the hell's going on in this movie. Well, I went in and because I've been reading a little bit of I was curious, like other people, I'm Mm -hmm. like, okay, you know, what's the eternal? So I went in and read it. I guess what got me about the movie was it felt like they were skipping. Like there was like a ton of stuff. There was no real character build. I didn't feel like for one, I didn't feel like I related to any of the characters. You look at something like Guardians of the Galaxy or even Iron Man or, or all almost all of the other Marvel movies. You have a connection with the character and the funny stuff is like genuinely funny and the little things I had a really hard time connecting with any of the, you know, Angelina Jolie, when she popped in, it almost felt like, okay, she's in to do her quick scene. And then, you know, she's back out to the trailer, you know, and then she's back in to do, um, that being said, I did totally see that happen when she had to interact like with other members of the cast in the same camera shot. I'm like, yeah. 
everyone in this scene knows that they're acting with Angelina Jolie in this yeah. scene. And yeah. it's so evident. But at the same time, those characters are kind of like gods. Right. Kind of thing. Like they're they're built to be, sure. you know, no Fina. spoilers or whatever. But Fina, right I think um, looking back on the movie where they go in the next phase, you know how they have phase five, six, seven, whatever. Yeah. What, yeah. Whatever the next phase is. I think that might be a bit intentional, or at least I hope it's intentional to make okay. them like unrelatable. But we'll see. Yeah, I, I and I think that there were, I mean, w there were just so many characters. There mm -hmm. were just, mm -hmm. you know, there's so many characters, yeah. and I don't think that you really, at least I didn't feel like I had enough time or background or movie to actually connect. Yeah, it's like if stuff, you dropped into uh, season three of Game of Thrones and everyone sounds like they have the same name, you can't understand the accents. You're like, yes. what is going on? Yeah. Oh, there goes a head. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, someone else died. Well, I guess right. you don't get married in this land, do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I am going to rewind a little bit because we are, we're just getting back. We took it's like the longest break that we've taken to date, uh, like a month. We actually we, took a holiday this year. We actually did. And people that do follow the Instagram might have seen that that kind of dipped off a little bit. Um, but I decided <laughs> it was to, well deserved though. I, I decided to step back, unplug, um, and, uh, re-energize, but you were stateside. I was yes. here. Um, just in general, how was, how was the trip? You, uh, well, it was the mixed bag. Can I say that? <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. Crack the knuckles. Here we go. You want the trip recap? Yes. Let me kick it off. Let me set the scene. Right. Okay. I've lived in Sweden for four years. All of my visa work permits, all that stuff goes through Hinata because right. everything's tied to her and through her employer. And part of the deal of them shipping us over here was I also get a work permit. Right. Mm. So that has to be included. Okay. So that's always been on the table. And then now that we've been here four years, we get to apply for basically the, the Swedish equivalent of a green card. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like a permanent residence card. Right. So that we don't have to do it every single year and go through mm, all these renew, yeah. So we did that. I don't know, September, or October or something like that. I think it was September. Okay. Where you go in and you get your, you do your biometrics. They take your fingerprints and you get your picture taken, all that stuff. And <clears throat> yeah, then they're like, okay, it's in processing. They took Dylan's old card, right? His pink card. And I'm like, hmm, that might be a problem later. And then <laughs> they're just like, okay, we'll get back to you. Hinata got her permanent residence card. It's very fancy. It looks kind of like a driver's license. You know, uh, it's very official. It's not pink. Chic. It's kind of like a white green, almost like a currency kind of vibe going on. It's quite Ooh, nice. Very nice. nice. nice very nice, official. Nice. Okay. And she's the only one that got it. Mm. And I'm like, hmm, how are you processing hers and not the rest of the family at the same time? Right. My own theory is that it's because we hold American passports. And uh, everything here that has to do with an American passport attached to it takes longer. Okay. Everything. Getting a bank account, all that stuff. It's a pain in the neck. Yeah. So I think that's the deal. Plus Corona, everything's taking longer. Mm -hmm. So I still don't have an official decision on my visa, but we traveled internationally. So as you might imagine, that could be a bit stressful. Yeah. <laughs> traveling around without like the official so yeah. we've had to talk to there's like a department at Hinata's work that they deal with like the the experts on okay. getting it through the expediters to get it through migration circuit and all that kind of stuff so I'm like how are we going to travel because I got to go I right. have to travel but I don't have any documentation to get back in the country well, they're like okay print out the fact that you're on the population registry first Ooh. Then do the family bevis that says everyone's uh, mm. personal numbers and where okay. you live and that you're all related and your entire sure. family and all that stuff. Then print out this form here that says you have an ongoing case and you're pending a decision that your mm -hmm. actual case, your case has been submitted on this date and still hasn't been resolved. Right, then right. while you're at it, print out your work contract your mortgage, oh, your, God. you know, like all your bank account statements, Get like basically, your stuff. we're walking around with this book of just random documentation. Yeah. Yeah. 
Sweden to leave Sweden. They're like, oh, yeah, can you get into the U.S.? And we're like, mm, yeah. We're like, okay, go ahead. Fine. Weird. But right. much like any international flight from Sweden, yeah. we have to stop somewhere and change. To go to the U.S., we had to stop in Munich. Ooh, okay. Every single time you fly to the U.S. from Sweden and go through Munich, they give you th two or three hours in the airport, uh. but you're literally running the entire time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You There yeah. is no stop to have like a beer or like a, a snack or anything. You're just going through 18 layers of security the entire time. No refrigerator magnet stop. No, none, none of that. No, you're just, no, you know, absolutely okay. not. Okay, okay. So... We get up to, like, you're trying to go around and you start going into everything that looks less like an international airport departure with all the fancy duty-free stores and mm -hmm. the Hermes and, all, like, all that stuff. All that stuff mm -hmm. is gone. And we're starting to get into, like, where everything's white tiles, like a very administrative section of the airport. I'm like, okay, this Dude. is definitely the way to go to the U.S. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, we are on the right path right now. Right. So then it opens up into all of the, the little kiosks. Of people checking your visas and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Like, okay, perfect. Here we go. And of course, as always, <laughs> EU passports can go over here. Everyone else, you see that big line? Yeah. Right. That's where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we make it up there finally. Of course, Dylan is, you know, he sits in a line. He doesn't understand. He doesn't even understand why I'm stopping at a red light. He's like, Dada, go, go, <laughs> go, 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 Dada, go. <laughs> right. Hey, kid. Yeah. One of these days, man, you're going to get me in a whole lot of trouble, but it's mm -hmm. not going to be today. Mm -hmm. So we finally get up there. We've been awake. So we had to wake up at three o'clock in the morning. I remember to that. make a yeah. what? What was it? Seven or eight a.m. flight? I think it was seven a.m. Ridiculous. Or something something ridiculous. Something, yeah. Some kind of bad idea. Yes. Yes. So then we get there. He, of course, Dylan hasn't slept anything since we woke him up. And we're like talking to the agent like the customs official doing border passport checks. Right. And we're like, okay. So he's like, where are you headed? We're like, we're headed to Miami. And he's like, okay, where do you live? We're like, we live in Sweden. It's like, okay, do you have, where's your, your visa, your cards? Hmm. Well, what ha happened was, <laughs> I mean, we, we explained the whole situation. Like, look, and not just trying to explain to him, like, well, because I have mine, but they don't have theirs, but we live there. But every year we go to Miami yeah. and we do this yeah. travel and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, wait, so you live in Miami? We're like, no, we used to live in Miami. So you live in Sweden. And he's flipping through the passport, like, where's your documentation? <laughs> You've been in Europe too long. And I'm like, even if I've been in Europe too long, I'm leaving Europe at this point. So you guys yeah. kind of miss that boat for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, what are you going to do? I'm already leaving. I'm, right. I'm helping you out by deporting yeah. myself, right? right? What are you going to do about it? Yeah. He's like, where and in Switzerland do you guys live? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Panama. No one asks yeah, any questions yeah. there. So, yeah, then we're like, we finally get him to understand, like, no, we live in Sweden. We're still waiting on the permanent residency yeah. for he and I. She has a permanent residency. Look, you want a housing contract? Boom. Boom. You want a, a work contract? Boom. You want Boom. a population yeah. registry? I just start throwing documents yeah. up. He's like, okay, okay, fine. I believe you. Go ahead. And he just kind of just like, doop, doop, doop. keep yeah. moving. Right. So then we have the whole stress. I'm like waiting, anticipating <sighs> the way back. When we're in Miami airport. There's, they're more concerned about Corona right now. Like, honestly, you could probably yeah. travel to any country and just walk right in yeah. because in Miami airport, they have this big sign. You have to start before even the snake path to get up to the baggage check. Okay. You have to meet with this guy who take, it's only one, only mm -hmm. one who mm -hmm. takes each group at a time, each family or each traveler. And then he's like, okay, where's your, co your COVID vaccine proof. Right. Right. If you don't have that, you need to have the PCR test results. Okay. You have a COVID proof and then, okay, where are you traveling? Are you like, they mostly want to know, are you staying in Germany? And we're like, mm -hmm. no, we're just traveling through Frankfurt. We're going to Sweden. Yeah. Oh, you're going to Sweden. Okay. Keep going. You're fine. As long as you got right. your vaccine, keep going. I don't care about you. <laughs> and he okay. puts like a little sticker on my, on all of our passports. And sure. then I'm like, okay, but it's gotta be when we get to Frankfurt, yeah. mm -hmm. we're going to have problems. I know it. Yeah. 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 So we get up to the passport control there and we're like, okay, let's get out the book. <clears throat> let's get out all the passports. Here's the right. passports, blah, 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 blah. 
And this woman, she's reading through everything, you know, okay, you take your mask off so I can see it's you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 And, uh, where you're, you're, so you live in Sweden. Yes. We live in Sweden. We've lived there for four years. Okay. Where's your, your visas. So what had happened was, (laughs) this was on your way. This is on the way back. This is on the way back. Okay. So then I'm like, and after starting to tell the story, I'm like, look, this is the old ones. She is up to date. Mine and his, this little one, it's still pending the decision. And she goes, okay, so you're going to get the decision while you're in Sweden. Like, yes, we just had to do this travel. It's still pending. We've lived there for four years. Mm-hmm. I have all the documentation if you want it. She's like, no, that's right. okay. If you're going to figure it, if you're going to handle it in Sweden, go ahead. Duh. So then I'm thinking, surely there is going to be some like Viking guy waiting for oh, yeah. us in Sweden yeah. to be like, oh, the okay, hammer's going to drop. Now, the now <laughs> we've got problems. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so we arrive in Orlando. Yeah. And we're following the signs to go to baggage check. Yeah. And the exit. And then all of a sudden we're walking through that weird glass tunnel that I, I'm not entirely sure what that thing does. That's crazy. But it's like two lanes for some reason, and yeah. then everyone has to walk through it. I don't know. I think we're getting cancer from that thing. But anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then all of a sudden, we're in baggage check. And I'm like, no one has really checked any of this documentation that we... Someone look at my paperwork! <laughs> look at my book! Yeah. 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 I've been vaccinated! Yeah. <laughs> Not only that... <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not oh. only that, I've had the Omicron from Florida. Look out, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, part yeah, ways, yeah, part yeah, the sea. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but so but yeah, that's the way it was a that's crazy. the way it is. That's that that stress, that tension. Remember we were talking about like traveling now and traveling, you know, before when you could yeah. carry like cutlery and you could smoke and you could you know <laughs> Hey, I'm not do, that old. <laughs> you know, but I mean, you could pretty much do anything. I do you always want. appreciate though when they say this is a non smoking flight. Yeah, right. I know. Ever since I've been alive, you haven't been able to smoke on a plane. Like, yeah, why are we yeah. still announcing right. this thing? <laughs> probably a couple more years. They probably got to say that. They got to say that. all the old people to die exactly. off. Exactly. Okay. That's, 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 I think they got to say that for probably another five, ten years. And then <laughs> the gener- generational shift is going to yeah, gonna exactly. kick, gonna kick but in. But then, as we're, so we got the Lufthansa flight between, across the Atlantic, both ways. It was a... Um, I don't know. Does it, it must have been a seven, it was a seven forty seven format. So I don't know if Airbus has an huh, equivalent okay. of seven forty seven. Right. Anyway, it was that thing with a little bump on top. And that's yeah. where first class is up there. So as we're landing in Miami, the steward, the flight attendant comes around, and she's like, "Oh, how old is he?" I'm like, "Well, he's two years old." Ah, well, in the U.S., they want him to wear a mask, so we'll, you have to put a mask on him as we're landing. Oh. I'm like. You want me to have him sit by himself in his own seat, wearing a seatbelt, and then wear a mask? Yeah. Please. Here's a piece of paper and a pencil. Mm-hmm. Document to me how you you want me to make that happen. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it ain't going to happen, people. Like, yeah. here, see? I'm trying to put it on. No, it's not happening. <laughs> He's slapping me in the eyeball because he doesn't want to wear the mask. Like, yeah. excuse me, my eyeball is more important than your mask yeah. policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And then the way back, too, was we're, like, trying to get everyone boarded. Like, one flight attendant comes around. She's like, yeah, how old is he? I'm like, he's two years old. Don't say it. Don't say Well, in the U.S., Germany, they don't care. But in the U.S., if from two years old, they want to. I'm like, oh, oh you yeah. better stay here and watch what happens. Because right. after the after he draws blood the first time, I'm not yeah, sure. All bets are off. All bets are off. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, if you want me to put the mask on him and keep the mask, no. he has to have the seatbelt for the under two-year-olds where I put him on my lap, I buckle him in the seatbelt, and then I Brazilian jiu-jitsu, like, bear hug him <laughs> to, like, yes. keep his legs still and his yeah. arms from ripping off the face mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's going to have to happen. Yeah. Hey, but you, but, but other than that, you guys had a nice holiday. <laughs> Other than that, we had a pretty good holiday. Can't complain okay. too much. You know, we got, I got a little tan going on right now that has tried what? to flee already. Once we got off in Germany and it was like freezing, yeah. it was just like, oh, okay, you lose a shade right there. Boom. Right. 
Yeah. But yeah. You were fine until you hit that glass tunnel at Arlanda because that thing sucks the pigment <laughs> yes! you know, out of your skin yes! to make sure that yes! you, you know, that you can fit right back in. Exactly. To the, uh, exactly. To the chill Yeah, zone. super nice. We were at a friend's place for the first few days and we ended up going to Orlando. We took him, took Dylan to the house of mouse. And then we took him uh, over the following day to uh, islands of adventure universal. Nice. So he got to meet Spider-Man actually meet Spider-Man. So he that, was like nice. doing backflips about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then after that, we were just on the beach. So it was great. Okay. Oh. Santa brought us a little Omicron for Christmas. Very appreciated. Ah, so, okay. Yeah. Got that out of the way. Yeah. So it was only supposed to be a three week holiday, a three hour tour. But uh, yeah, we had to add on another week because of the contagious period. But like, thank God for the vaccines. Knock on wood, because we didn't. I woke up one day and I had a kind of scratchy throat Uh. and like some weird muscle achiness. I was like, oh, what is this? Is like, is, is it a cold or something? Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, I tested positive on an antigen. But then after that first day, that was it. Yeah. So yeah. it was weird. Yeah. Like, I felt yeah. totally fine. Every, everyone else felt totally fine, but we had to be isolated right. and all that stuff. So, yeah, very weird yeah. feeling. Yeah, I re- because you sent me a message. We were originally mm-hmm. had planned on recording last Sunday. And yes. Then, and then you popped me a message and you're like, nah, yeah, that's not going to happen so much. <laughs> Right. I'll see you in a week. I'll see you in five to seven days. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If I can get on the flight back, if I can get through Germany. Yeah. With my book, with my book of, yes. of information. Yes, exactly. And one other thing, like I just have to like call out, we're trying to get from Henry Bihuesta to Orlando, Orlando. Yeah. I almost said Orlando at yeah. three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning for this flight. Right. Obviously, we're trying to book it ahead of time. And our favorite one, because they tend to be the cheapest, is yeah. the Taxi Stockholm 150,000, whatever, all the zeros at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. And they have an app that you can normally pre book, just like Uber, super uh-huh. easy to use. And I'm like, well, we need a child seat for Dylan because here in Stockholm, you show up with a two year old and they're like, this car ain't moving until you find a car seat for him. So you right. have to be some services, they don't carry it with them all the time. Okay, okay. So it's always good to pre book that stuff. Technically, he's supposed to have like a proper baby seat, although it can Mm -hmm. be front facing. But to book that on the Taxi Stockholm app, you can't do it. You can only book the booster seat and he has to be at least three years old or no, sorry, four years old or 14 kilos. And he's Uh, 13 and a half. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, let's get the seat because you never know. You'll get a guy, Mm -hmm. especially at three o'clock in the morning, who's just grumpy and is just like, no, 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 he's too small. But I have a scale in my car. Let's put him on and see how much he weighs. Yeah, like one of those suitcase so, suitcase scales. He'd be like, "Come yes, here, Dylan. Yes. Papa got to lift you up." Hold on to this. Hold on to this. You gotta give me your pant loop. So, <laughs> then in order to book this car seat, you have to call them, and everything is in Swedish. Mm. And I'm like, "There's no place to read on their website what exactly they're saying." So I went through like four times. No. On like the, if you would like this, pr- please press one. Please press two. And I went through all the options, and then it got to the point of. I'm pretty sure I was in the correct place. I'm 95% sure I was in the correct option on the phone right. system. But then it was like, please verbally say where you need to get picked up from. And I'm like, uh, oh, man, oh, no. come on. You're never going to understand <laughs> me. Stand come me. on. <laughs> right. The game is over. He weighs yeah. 14 kilos now. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, like yeah. the NFL programs. Like, yeah, he's seven right. feet tall. Of course he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be first. Uh, please repeat. <laughs> I'm up be yeah. Jan Ing History, no. 16. Uh, yeah. Jan, what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Wasn't the smoothest departure. But see, like like leaving any place in Stockholm at 3 a.m., there's still kind of, there's a there's still a few options. If you have to leave Nina's Ham at 3 a.m. in the morning, <laughs> you're either you going in your handcuffs. Own helicopter. <laughs> yeah, you're going in handcuffs. <laughs> In an ambulance? No, it's a uh, it's a tough one. You definitely have some uh, some limited. That's why I like I stay at the hotel at the airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For because sure, it's for just sure. it's just gotten to the point where, you know, I, I'd rather wake up at the airport, you know, take a shower, go down, grab breakfast, and then you're right yeah. there at the gate. Well, um, this past one, I think that probably would have been the better strategy. But like Hanata was still working up to the last day, and it was right, yeah. right. But next time, yeah. That that was crazy. Yeah. 
No, that it, it works out. Uh, it, it's worked out pretty good. Yeah. We were we we were homebodies. We just stayed, you know, we stayed local. And Adrian came down. He kicked it with us for like five days, which was a Christmas present in and of itself. Yeah, um, for sure. But being able to hang out, do that. And then uh, Christmas Eve, we were over at Lena's parents. Uh, had a really nice. nice, yeah, a really nice uh, Christmas evening over there. Us, the kids. That sounds really weird, the kids. But yes, my 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 half grown offspring, <laughs> the adult were, offspring. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Everybody's driving. Um, but yeah, we we just took it took it easy and um, nice. Our Christmas present to each other this year is a new rug for the living room. So we got a, a nice, Ooh. a nice, yeah. You get up to you get up to like twenty five years of, you know, being married. The the presents become. Hey man, uh, we have been trying to buy a rug for ourselves for I don't know three four years, and it's yeah. one of the most difficult things ever. Yeah. So yeah. I appreciate the hustle on that. And, well, I mean, we've been talking about it for for a while, and um, when the kids were little, we were like, nah, let's just you know. We'll just keep it hardwood and easy to clean and everything else. But now, and it makes a heck of a difference, especially in Sweden this time of year, having, oh, yeah. you know, a rug under your feet. But, uh, yeah, that was our, that was our, our combo. We've been like talking about it for six months and <laughs> went to the, uh, went to the store. And what about the, the Christmas menu, the New Year's menu? What'd you, what'd you get up to? Oh, man. Now you're asking me to think way <laughs> things that happened way, more than two weeks ago. It's back. gone now. It's gone. Hey, hey, well, I can tell you this: that for the since we moved here 15 years ago um, into this apartment where we're at, we have always walked up to our parking area to watch the fireworks. We've just done that. Mm -hmm, and in the right. beginning, one of the neighbors used to buy like big boxes of fireworks. You know, he would, that was like his treat every year and he would light that thing. And, you know, we would like, Ooh, and ah, and it's probably like maybe 20, 30, 30 people up there plus. Mm -hmm. And over the years, as the neighbors changed, people have moved out, people have moved in and, you know, things it's like the number of people going up to the parking area has gone down slowly every year. And as kids have grown up and going, you know, to their own stuff, this is actually the first year that Lena and I did not go up to the parking lot. Uh, oh, last wow. year, it was like us and like six, seven other people. There were a couple of neighbors that have always gone up too. Um, right, right, right. Yeah. But this was the first year. This was the first year. It was like five to 12, five to midnight. I looked at Lena. Lena looked at me. I was like, eh, I don't know. Um what do you think? And she was like, do I want to put on boots and a big heavy jacket or do I just want to stay here on the couch? So, we, so we went to the door, we went to the door, opened it up, took a peek outside, shut it, went back to the couch. We were like, Oh, that was good. That was nice. Um, but yeah, that was, that was about the, the extent of our, uh, of our new year. We did stay up a little bit later than, than usual, but it was nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did, uh, the uh, most exclusive party probably in Miami Beach, South Ooh, Beach even. Okay. You, in order to gain entry, uh -huh. you had to be vaccinated and you had to be positive for Omicron. So it was the three of us and our friend that we were staying at her place before. So she probably got it from us and we got it from Orlando. <laughs> okay. So it was like, hey, anyone else, anyone else in the group got Omicron? Come on yeah. over. We're on the yeah. beach. So it was wah, like wah, wah, wah. doing that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, that will do it for this week's episode everybody but don't worry there's much more great stuff to come i haven't even talked about how amazing the aluminum foil is in the u.s anyway make sure you go over to our instagram and check us out over there rodney's always got some kind of crazy stuff going on or you're in the viking or who knows what and then come back here next time for more two guys, three crowns. <laughs> <laughs>